Hello everyone, this is Sachin Rana here. I'm presently a third year undergraduate at IIT Bombay. In this video, I want to share about some important tips which I followed in order to get 11 pi out of 120 in mathematics in JEE Mains 2016. Let me tell you why this video is important for you. Because to be honest, before class 11th, I was a very, very, very weak student in mathematics. Like once I'd given a test, I had got around 12 out of 100 in mathematics in the board level examinations before class 11. So this is why this video is made in order to share some important tips. So let us begin with this very important video. Focus on the theory also. Like many people who I had met or who were preparing with me, the biggest mistake that they did was that they didn't study the theory properly because they considered mathematics only to be a question part. So what my very important tip to you is that whenever you study a chapter, let me take vectors. So when you study vectors, study the theory properly, then go for the questions. Because if you directly do, go for the questions, then you won't be able to solve any question, then you would have the uh, lack of confidence factor. So at this point of time, the most important factor is the confidence. So your focus should be on building the topics which are uh, most favorable to come in the examination like complex number, ho gaya, 3D geometry, these should be the more topics to be focused on. The coordinate geometry part, if you see, 6 to 7 questions are asked from it in each year out of the 30 questions and that is a purely theoretical based part. Like you should know that how the locus has to be found out by applying the particular condition, how the foot of perpendicular is found out and all that stuff. So what my recommendation to you is that don't listen to people that only do the questions, but a major focus should be in order to complete the theory first, because when you complete the theory, you would get the confidence that you're actually able to uh, learn the chapter very well and then move on to the question part. Okay, so for the questions part, let me give you my recommendation. The most important tip which was given to me by teacher for regarding the questions was that whenever you're doing the questions, din mein ek baat tease question karne ka tum logo ko. Like for example, today I'm practicing the chapter complex numbers. So I should do a minimum of 30 questions in that chapter. Now I'm telling you the period of 30 questions because you will see that J mains or all of the major examination which are going to give in the recent period would have a minimum of 30 questions. So when you do the 30 questions for a time limit of 60 minutes, that would tell you in which part you are lagging in, in which part you are strong at. If you do the 30 questions in 3 hours, everyone would almost be able to do the 30 questions. But when you do the 30 questions in the recommended period of time, like 60 minutes, 50 minutes, whatever, if you want to raise your speed. Okay, so first of all, your mission should be in order to increase the accuracy. You can increase the speed later on, but first of all, you need to improve the accuracy because we don't want negative. If you are getting zero marks, that is better than getting a minus one. Okay, so please don't uh, get on the fluke marks. Only see that in mathematics, if you're getting the answer by the correct method, it would definitely be correct. So my recommendation to you is that whenever you're practicing a chapter, like you're practicing complex numbers today, do 30 questions of that chapter from a particular book, then move on to the next chapter on the next day. Okay, don't focus on solving like you have to solve 50 questions, 60 questions. Pick up 30 questions which you think are very good. Solve those 30 questions. See in which in which uh, part you are lagging in. Like the argument part if you are lagging in. Then practice more on the argument part. If you are lagging in the uh, De Moivre's theorem, then see that how you can practice the De Moivre's theorem better. So my recommendation to you is that try to do 30 questions every day from each and every subject, not mathematics, but from physics, chemistry and mathematics. So that in this point of, at this point of time, you people get the accuracy also and you get the uh, major mission that is the concepts also. Okay. <music> discussed about the questions part and the theoretical part. The two most important parts are finished here. The next part, which I was very good at because I personally used to ask the doubts. This I think was a very good quality in me that my sharmata nahi tha. You shouldn't be ashamed that you're going to ask some doubts or something. Make sure that whatever doubt you have, be the silliest of the doubts which is possible. Please ask that doubt because to be honest, two to three times it has happened with me when I was shy in class 11th. Uh, I used to not ask the doubts and those questions used to come in the examinations. Okay, so that should be done for you that whatever uh, questions you're solving, even if you get the slightest of the doubts which is possible, then please go ask your teacher or any other mentor which you have so that that doubt is cleared. 
क्वेश्चन सॉल्विंग इज इंपॉर्टेंट थ्योरी इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट बट द फाइनल मिशन इज दैट यू टू लर्न दैट वॉट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट बिहाइंड दैट थिंग सो इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द डाउट यू जस्ट लीव द थिंग दैट मैंने ये क्वेश्चन कर लिया इसके आगे मेरे से हो ही जाएगा लाइक मेनी पीपल वॉट दे डू दे पिक अप द क्वेश्चन नंबर टू एंड दैट इज लाइक काइंड ऑफ सिमिलर टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन विद सम कॉन्सेप्ट एक्स्ट्रा बट वॉट दे डू दे जस्ट पिक अप द क्वेश्चन नंबर टू सॉल्ट इन द मिडल एंड देन दे मूव ऑन टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री so please don't do that mistake that is the worst mistake which i have seen my colleagues also do that is the mistake which leads them to the calculation error in the future examinations so the first mission should be that calculation should be very correct don't use any calculator solve the fully full questions if you are not able to solve them go and ask your teacher that is the best thing which you can now many people would be guessing that maine kaun sa question galat kiya tha so it was j mains 2016 there was a question which was related to probability it's not like my probability is weak but the question which had come was from the theoretical part okay so as i have told you that i have done this mistake of not studying the theory properly of the probability and the pnc most importantly these two chapters so make sure that you have studied the theory properly you can go and check it was a theoretical question i don't remember what the question was but i had done it wrong so please uh, it you would repent later on that mare sare question sahi hue and only one question was wrong because it was related to some theory which was present in the ncert so it is a golden opportunity for all of you because if you study the ncert also and if you study that theory properly that would be helpful in je mains also and the board examination also so that is the most important thing right now make sure you solve the ncert for the chapters permutations and combinations probability and i did integration also very well from the ncert because sachi batao when i used to practice the integration during my coaching i wasn't able to do it okay at that time period in my coaching i used to get ar- around 30 out of 120 and 35 out of 120 so what i did was i took some break from the class like one week break from the class of the integration which was happening and then i used the ncert in order to gain confidence as i have told you the confidence is the most important thing right now it's not like you tumhe sab aata hai see every everyone who is going in the examination hall has at least studied the syllabus once so that isn't a differentiating factor here the differentiating factor here is number 1 accuracy number 2 speed and the number 3 that is the most important is confidence so make sure that you have solved uh, these three chapters which i have told you from the ncert and moreover uh, i want to say that whatever you are practicing make sure you study the theory properly during the examination if you see if you have solved many papers the previous year question papers etc you would see that many questions can actually be solved by putting some values like there are 30 questions i would say like 3 to 4 questions can be solved by assuming some value of a some value of b or c or whatever variable is given to you so that is how you need to think very properly like if you had would have been given some binomial expansion of 1 plus x raised to power n something assume n to be some number or anything like that i am telling you those type of tricks which can be applied during the examination because most of all we need to save the time also we need we can get only like uh, 70 minutes maximum for mathematics after deducting time from chemistry okay so first of all make sure that your chemistry is very fast because you need to save some like 10 to 20 minutes there in order to invest them in physics and mathematics and after investing in mathematics whatever tricks i have told you in this video these will be very helpful for all of you so let us move on to the now the most important part which i wanted to share in this video is the ego part what i mean by ego part is that many people solve a particular chapter very nicely like let me say my integration is strong so i would have solved that uh, chapter very well with the help of the multiple questions studying all the important theory which is present in that chapter okay so the important part which i wanted to share is that don't take any question on your ego what i mean by ego here is that like many people are like uh, uh, the question would come in the examination hall they would have to definitely solve it because unhone wo chapter achhi tarah kiya hai but my recommendation to you is that the maximum amount of time in mathematics which you can invest on a particular question in je mains is equal to 2.5 minutes why i'm saying 2.5 minutes because you can take that 15 minutes extra from the chemistry part because the chemistry part is very easy directly from the ncert the questions are asked some organic questions are related to a higher level but more or less you can solve the entire uh, chemistry part in 45 minutes 
so out of those uh, 60 minutes you have invested 45 in chemistry that 15 extra minutes can be used in mathematics or physics whatever is weaker for you okay so we are talking about mathematics here so i invested those extra 15 minutes into mathematics part so after investing those 15 minutes extra into the mathematics part i got around 2.5 minutes for each question so you have to set a timer for each and every question that 2.5 minutes jada mujhko dene ka nahi hai pe. so that is the thing that is the most important thing because when you're solving a particular question and you take that question on your ego you get totally grossed into it okay so you're just totally solving that question you're not watching your environment whatever is happening to you so that is my recommendation to you whenever you're solving a particular question kindly make sure that you set up within the time limit don't take any question on your ego as i've told you many 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 times so that is the most important part here Now there was one thing which I haven't shared with anyone till now. The mathematics paper which I had actually got during my examination all. See my order of solving the JE mains paper was chemistry, maths and then physics because physics was the weakest for me. So similarly if anything is weakest for you, you would have to definitely do it at the end. So I did physics at the end, mathematics in the middle and chemistry in the beginning. So like I solved the chemistry first and then moved on to the mathematics part. But when I mathematics part, ko start kiya, then I saw that the initial questions were very hard. I was like totally frustrated because mathematics was my favorite subject. It was like if I couldn't do mathematics, paya, so I wouldn't be able to qualify the mains. Okay, so I did the, I tried to do the first question, then second, then third, kya, I wasn't able to solve them. So you can, you can also relate to me that whenever in a line there are three to four questions or five to six questions which you aren't able to solve. You can relate to me. Okay, so what I did was I turned over the paper and started from the end. So make sure that you also kind of uh, follow this thing. If you're not able to solve the questions from the beginning, then try to do from the end. If you aren't able to solve the end, then try to segregate the questions. Like if you would have studied calculus properly, try to segregate the calculus part. If you would have solved the vector 3D properly, then try to segregate the vector 3D part. Okay, so these were the some tips which I wanted to share with you from my personal experiences as I qualified this examination so I can better relate with you people that what you would be facing at this point of time. At this point of time, the most important chapters for you are calculus, coordinate geometry and 3D geometry. Okay, so make sure that even if you don't practice the other chapters, you practice these questions very well because these would constitute like 10 to 12 questions minimum for that particular examination. Okay, I also launched my organic chemistry crash course on an academy plus the registrations are only opened in 25th November. So make sure you enroll in that. Uh, so these were some tips regarding the mathematics. I'm also planning to make on organic chemistry because my organic chemistry was also very strong with the help of the reaction mechanism that I followed. So I wish you all the best for the upcoming examinations. I hope that you would do very well. You would follow these tips because these are from my personal experiences. You can learn something new from each and every person that teaches you. Okay, so make sure that you have liked the video. Subscribe to the channel because many more videos will be uploaded soon. So Jai Hind.